Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now in this video, we're gonna build this um, Instagram-like UI um, on our Android, right? So we will use Jetpack Compose to build this and we will have basically a um, kind of an, not infinite, but a long list of posts. Okay, I have here some sample images and at the top, we will have also a scrollable list of stories, okay? Now, we're not gonna build the interaction with this. Uh, we're just gonna focus on the UI side of things, okay? So I will show you how to do this in Jetpack Compose. It's actually really easy and more efficient than the previous um, way Android used to build UIs with XML, okay? So uh, we're gonna focus on Jetpack Compose. Now, before we get started, um, I wanna mention that this is part of my new uh, Instagram build course, okay? So we are, uh, in that course, we are building a complete Instagram uh, application, okay? With a lot of screens, um, with authentication, with posting, likes and so on and so forth, right? So if you're interested in that, check out the um, the link in the description. If not, let's go ahead and get started building this application. All right, so um, first of all, I'm gonna open up my Android Studio and I'm gonna create a new project here using the empty compose activity. Okay, so go ahead and click that and give your application a name. It doesn't really matter um, what the name is, I'm gonna say Instagram feed, okay? Because we're just building the feed screen for um, Instagram. And then click finish. We're just gonna wait for this to build. All right, so once that is done, um, I'm gonna add some drawable images to this project, okay? Um, you can either go online and download some images to play around with for yourself or check out the GitHub link in the description and you will find the finished project here um, and you can just copy and paste those images in your new project, okay? So I'm just gonna paste them here. It's basically a list of some animals, okay? Um, that I just downloaded online. I think there's like 25 animals here. Also, uh, in preparation for the code that we're gonna be building, I have prepared here a couple of lists that will contain two things. So basically, one list is gonna be the list of animals that we have in our code. So r.drawable.ape, bear, bird, and so on. Okay, these are uh, integers. Okay, and then I have a list of common names that I just found online. It contains 20 names that are quite common. Um, and that's going to be useful for displaying random usernames in our code. All right, so um, again, if you want to just copy paste these, you will find them in the main activity in the GitHub repository. Just go ahead and copy it from there. All right, so now let's get started building our UI. So first of all, let's create some mock data uh, types that we're going to be using in our code. So for that, I'm just going to uh, right click here and create a new Kotlin file. And I'm going to call this, um, this doesn't really matter, the name doesn't really matter. I'm going to say data types. And I'm going to make sure that this is a file. Before I continue, I just want to increase the font size a little bit because you might have some trouble um, seeing what I'm typing. So let me put 16 here. Hopefully that will be a bit better for you to see. All right, so um, in data types, let's go ahead and create two data types. So first of all, we're gonna have a story that we're gonna display at the top, and then we're gonna have posts that we're gonna display in our feed list, okay? So I'm gonna say data class uh, mock story. And here I'm gonna have two parameters, val, story ID of type string and val image of type int. Okay, so basically the image that I want to display, I'm just gonna have this story uh, ID because you know if we want to build upon this code, then we're gonna need some form of identification for each story. Then we're gonna have data class mock post. Okay, and this one is gonna have a few more elements. So first of all, we're gonna have a post ID of type string. Now we're gonna have an user image and a user name. Okay, so val user image of type int. Okay, 
and val user name of type uh, string. Now for the image, I'm just going to use a random image of a guy uh, from that I found online. Um, if you want to download a uh, an image of some person, you can actually check out this website, thispersondoesnotexist.com. It's an AI generated um, image that um, you can use, you can download and use as you like, right? So you as well, as long as you refresh the page, it will give you a new image to um, download. So go ahead and check out that UI, that uh, uh, website, if you need to download some image from online to use in your code. Now, um, so I have user image username, then I have an image, uh, let's call it val image of type int val description of type string uh, val, I'm going to have a number of likes, that's going to be an integer, and I'm going to have val comments, also an integer. Okay, so we want to display how many likes and how many comments there are, we're not going to actually display each individual comment, just the number that um, is there. Alright, so back in main activity, let's go ahead and create our um, our list of stories and posts. Okay, so I'm going to say here val mock stories is going to be a list of let's say 20 stories. Okay, and here I'm going to create val uid is going to be uuid dot random uuid dot to string. Okay, so that's for the ID for the story. And I'm going to have an image val image is going to be um, animals list of so we need to pick a random element from our animal list. So we're going to use random. Make sure you use Kotlin dot random dot next int. And we're going to limit this next int to um, animals list dot size. Okay, so we're just going to pick a random image from our animal list. And with that, we can create our mock story and pass it on to the list. So we're going to say mock story, UID and image. All right, so with that, we have some mock stories that we can display. Now, let's go ahead and create mock posts. That's also going to be a list, I'm going to add, uh, let's say 100 elements here. Now we're going to create some variables. So first val UID is going to be the same as the previous one. Okay, that's just going to give us a random ID, then val user image is going to be r dot drawable dot guy. Okay, so I have this image for the guy that I'm going to use in basically all my posts. Okay, val username. Now we're going to pick a random username from common names. So I'm going to say common names of random dot next int of common names dot size. Okay, so that's user image and username. Now, uh, I'm going to have val image is going to be the same as this one. So I'm just going to pick a random image from my animals list. We're going to have val description. This is going to be quite a standard description. So I'm going to say this is a random description. And let's put a number here just to have some uh, uniqueness to the description. So I'm going to say random dot next float, let's say. All right, so that's the description, we're going to have val likes is going to be random dot next int. So how many uh, should we put? Let's put maximum 1000 likes. And val comments is going to be random dot next int. And here we're going to limit to a 100 comments. So we have all the elements. So let's go ahead and create a mock post that will have UID, user image, username, image, description, likes, and comments. Okay, so we have all these elements 
in our list. So that basically generates a list of 100 elements with some randomness to it. All right, that's all looking really good. Now let's go ahead and create. I'm going to just remove this composable here and I'm going to create my own composable fun feed screen. Okay, and I'm going to use that feed screen here and also in my preview. All right, so let's go ahead and build our feed screen. So first of all, I'm going to have a column to sort out to arrange everything in my code. And here for the column, I'm going to have a modifier equals modifier dot Fig, uh, fill max size so that it fills up the whole screen dot background and here I'm going to have color dot light gray so I want a kind of a light gray background and the actual posts are going to have a white background so that you can see clearly that there are cards on a uh, different color background now inside my column I'm basically going to have a few things so at the top I'm going to have a row Okay, to arrange to sort out the elements in the top row. And in my top row, I'm going to have a um, image for the user and the list of stories. Okay, so for my row, I'm going to have a modifier equals modifier dot. Now here I have fill max width. Okay, I also have a background color dot white okay and i want to fix the size the height to 80 dot dp make sure you import that dp okay so i want the fixed size so that it doesn't vary with the size of the images or other uh, constraints that might occur so for the image uh, for the user image i'm going to have another composable somewhere down here at composable fun and I'm going to have round image card as the name. So basically here I just want to have a rounded image. The rounded image card will be used for the um, for the user image but also for the stories. Okay so here I want to make, make it a bit generic. So I'm going to say image of type int and I want to be able to pass a modifier of type modifier. Now I'm going to put a default value here so that we, we make this optional. So I'm going to say modifier dot, um, let's add some padding. The padding is going to be 8dp. And let's add the size of the image. I'm going to make it 64dp. Okay format that code. So right, so we have this rounded image card, let's add it to our row. So rounded image card. And here I just need to pass the image equals r dot drawable dot guy. Okay, so um, we're going to create this function. And then we're going to test the application so that we hopefully see a rounded image at the top bar. Okay, so here I'm going to have a card. The card will have a shape of a circle shape. Okay, and we also want a modifier to pass the modifier that we have in the function. So basically this modifier here. Let me fix that. Autocomplete in uh, Android Studio is kind of bad at the moment. I don't know why. In any case, so we pass this modifier here and inside our card, we're going to have an image. Now the painter is going to be a painter resource with an ID equals image, a content description null. And I also want to add a content scale, content scale dot crop. Okay, so that we display the whole image and just crop out the circle shape. So I think that should be fine for now. Um, let's just go ahead and test out this code and make sure that we are uh, kind of on the right track and we're not getting any unexpected crashes or errors so far. 
All right, so so far so good. We can see that we have two elements here. We have the um, the column with the gray background, and we have the top element, top row, with the image that we have created here. So, so far, it's really good, right? We are on the right track, I think. Now, um, at the top here, inside the row, we want to add the rest of the stories. But before that, I just want to add like a small vertical bar um, to kind of symbolize the difference between the two sides. So I'm going to call this a vertical divider. Okay, and let's go ahead and create that vertical divider somewhere here as a composable fun vertical divider. Now this divider is going to be basically very simple. It was just, it's just going to be a box with a modifier and here I'm going to have a width of 1 dp dot fill max height. Okay, I want to fill the height and I want to have some alpha. So I want it a bit transparent, 0.3f. I also want some padding uh, just on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to say top 8 dp and bottom is also going to be 8 dp. And let's add the color. So I'm going to say background color dot light gray. So I just want a light gray one pixel width wide vertical bar that I'm going to add here. So um, we're going to leave that for now. That's quite easy to verify, but let's add a row. Now here we want a row of multiple elements that are scrollable. Okay. In order to do that um, in Compose, it's quite simple. We have what we call a lazy row. A lazy row. So for the lazy row, we actually don't need any content information and we can simply add items. And here we add our mock stories. And we have an item that we want to display. Right, and I have here, let's go ahead and create, uh, there seems to be some issue here. Let's go ahead and create our um, element. Okay, so I'm going to call this something like, um, Actually, we don't need a new element here. We can simply use our round image card. So round image card item dot and here. So let's see what the problem is. <clears throat> mock stories, mock stories. Let me try that again. Items and we're going to use the one with the list and here mock stories. Okay, that works better. Rounded image card item dot image. Okay, that seems to work. Um, yeah, Android Studio is a bit confused sometimes, but it will get there eventually. So let's go ahead and run our code and see uh, what this looks like. So we're supposed to have we should have a list of stories at the top. Okay, there we go. So the stories are random, but there are 20 of them. So 20 stories in this list. Okay, so that works really well. And we have the small divider here as well. All right, that is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and continue with our code. So we've filled out the top row. Next up, what I would like to do is I would like to have again, a horizontal divider this time, and then the list of posts. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. First of all, let's go ahead and create our horizontal divider. Fun um, horizontal divider. Okay, and here we actually have a divider element that we can customize. So color is going to be color dot light gray. Then we have thickness. 1 dp. And then we have a modifier where we can pass an alpha 03f. And we can add some padding to the top 8 dp and bottom 
8 dp. So we have our horizontal divider. However, I still want a kind of a white background to my divider. So for that, I'm just going to put my divider inside a box. So I'm going to have box with a modifier dot fill max width dot wrap content height dot background is going to be color dot white. Okay, and inside here, I'm going to put my horizontal divider. All right, let's just run that uh, just for fun to see what that gives us. It should just give us a horizontal divider with a white background. Okay, so first of all, I put the divider in the wrong place. I put it inside the row, so let's move it outside. And now let's try it again. All right, so that's looking good. We have our horizontal divider here. And the only thing that's left for us to do is to add the column of posts, okay? Again, this is a scrolling list, so we're gonna have a lazy column this time. Okay, lazy column, we don't need content. We just need some items. Make sure you select the list. And here we have mock posts. Okay, and we have a post that we can use to create a post item with a post equals post. Okay, so that is what we need to create now, post item. So let's go ahead and scroll somewhere down here. And we're gonna add the composable fun post item with the element post of type mock post. Okay, so that solves our error here. So let's go ahead and build each individual post. So there's a few elements here. So first of all, at the top, I would like to have the icon of the user and the username. Then I would like to have an image. And then I would like to have description, likes, and comments. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to have a column with a modifier. And here we're going to have fill max width. Then we're going to have some padding 8.dp. And we're going to have some background color dot white. Now, um, keep in mind that the order of elements here matters. So if we put the padding before the background, then we will have some separation between the post items. But if we put the padding after the background, everything will be kind of white, including the padding. So that will not show us different cards for our elements. So this is the order that we need to use. Next up, we have the top row, so a row. Okay, here we have a vertical alignment, alignment center vertically. So we want everything to kind of be centered vertically. I have a round image card for the uh, image that's going to be post dot. Um, sorry, this is going to be the round image card is going to be post dot user image. There we go. Okay, so we have the user image. And then I want to add a modifier here because I want to add to make the card a bit smaller. So I'm going to have a size of let's say 48 dp. I played around with these values before and they work just fine. And padding, I'm going to have 4.dp. Of course, you can play around with these values if you uh, would like to have uh, different sizes. But for me, I think they work really well. So I have my rounded image card. And then what else do I need? I need the username. So I'm going to have a text that will have post.username. And here I want to have a bold text. So font weight dot bold. All right. So I have my top um, row. Now let's go ahead and add the image. I'm going to have painter resource of post dot image. Then what else do I need? I need my content description that's going to be null. I'm going to have a modifier 
equals modifier dot, let me type that correctly, dot fill max width. Okay, and I also want a content scale, content scale dot fill width. So I want the image kind of full size. Okay, we can take a break here and run our code to see to make sure that we have the kind of cards, the uh, top row and the image for each post. Okay, it's looking pretty good. So now uh, we have our cards and we can scroll through the cards. Okay, so we want the user image is the same, but the username is different. The only thing I don't like here is that we have padding on all sides. Okay, so I, I don't really like that. What I would like to do is I would like to have instead of padding eight, I would like to have just the top be eight and the rest will stretch to the edge of the screen. And between the two cards, there will be eight pixels as well. Okay, so I think that looks a bit better. All right, so we have our cards. Now we need to add some more information down at the bottom. So here, I'm going to add after my image, I'm going to add a text that will have the text is going to be post dot description. Okay. And I want to add a bit of padding. So I'm going to have modifier equals modifier dot padding. And that's going to be eight DP. Okay. So I have my text. I want to add likes. And for the likes, I want to add a small heart image as well. So I'm going to right click on drawable and create a vector asset. And here I'm going to search for favorite and use that image. And I'm going to rename that to I see like and click finish. So now I have my like image somewhere here. Uh, I see like, okay. So I'm going to have um, a row here to add both the image and the text uh, in the same row. I'm going to have modifier, modifier dot padding 8 dot dp. And we want also vertical alignment center vertically. Okay. So here I'm going to have two things. I'm going to have an image with a painter resource r dot drawable dot ic like. Uh, the content description is going to be null and I want a color filter, color filter dot tint to the color dot red. So I want a red, kind of a red um, like image. Okay. And then I'm going to add the text that's going to be dollar curly brackets post dot likes. So how many likes and afterwards a space and the word likes. And I'm going to have a modifier dot padding with a start padding of eight DP for the text. So I want a separation between the text and the image. And then finally, outside the row, I'm going to add a text for the comments. So here I'm going to have dollar curly bracket uh, post dot comments space comments. Okay. So I have my text. Um, what else do I need? I need um, color. I want to give my text a color dot gray. Okay. So a bit lighter color. And then I want a modifier dot padding. And I'm just going to add a start padding of 16 dot DP. And I want to have a bottom padding as well. Let's say eight dot DP. Okay. So that is pretty much all of it. Let's go ahead and run our code and hopefully everything will work correctly. All right, so we have our post. So we have image and username. We have post image. 
we have the description that's a bit random we have our likes with the icon and we have our comments and that is valid for all the posts in this list which is going to be uh how many did we say we said i think about a hundred yes a hundred posts in our list Right, so that is basically it. Um, I just wanted to focus a bit on the um, on the UI side to focus on the Jetpack Compose side of things. If you want to learn more, check out the link down in the description for a full course on uh, how to build an Instagram app with Jetpack Compose. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.